Do you have problems with your surface where parts of the screens do not work, but if you don't have it's not cracked and you haven't dropped it? I had that and I looked everywhere and after searching and searching I managed to find um, a fix um, for the problem. So as you can see my surface doesn't have any cracks and I recently noticed that I couldn't in some parts of the screen you can you clearly see parts of the screen that the as soon as you touch the screen you see that there's a little a round mark that, that shows that you have pressed the screen. Well I had this issue with parts of the screen were not there, were not responding to touch. So what I did, I looked on the Microsoft website, couldn't find anything, I searched online uh, everywhere and by putting all the information together from here and there I managed to find an answer. So first of all you have to look at your screen to see if there's any cracks on a digitizer okay that's the first thing digitizer uh, some cracks now if there are no cracks what you, to do, what you have to do is start paint Microsoft paint and then draw like this across the screen okay and as you can see now mine is fixed mine is fixed but before these parts of the screen wouldn't work so I don't know if it's a software issue or uh, something that um, Microsoft could have uh, fixed with a firmware and but they haven't so I have an answer so I'll put the files down below the link where you can get the file and what you have to do is run the exe of the file and then it's a calibration of the screen and then you'll find as soon as you run the file you go back to paint and then you'll see that everything's working again but what I did notice though is maybe it works for about a month, yeah, or maybe a month or less or more, and then the problem reoccurs. So I don't know if it's when the uh, updates from Microsoft have been released and applied that it reverts back to the previous uh, state, but then all you have to do is make sure you keep that file on a folder, and if it happens again, you just rerun the calibration off the screen and then it's back to working again. So this problem should affect the Pro 3s, okay, like this one. Maybe Pro 4, it will work on the Pro 4 as well. And the file is from um, Sony, uh, the file. So uh, the file's no longer available on the Sony website, but I'll put the link below and then um, you can uh, apply the patch to your surface if you're having the same problem. This will not cure issues where your screen has cracked uh, here and there as if the screen's cracked this will not work this is only for um, as I said before where you the touch doesn't seem to work in parts of the screen but the, the surface is not uh, damaged in any way so thanks for watching this video and uh, see you soon on the next video